Hey, my name is Nicolas Février and I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco. Last week, we released iOS XR 7.3.1 and we are just about to publish multiple articles and videos describing the new features but also the new hardware in the NCS 5500 family coming with it. Before publishing all these details, I would like to spend a bit of time on the concepts of compatibility and native operation mode. That's relative to the introduction of Jericho 2 line cards in the modular chassis. First, a quick reminder. You will need V2 fabric cards and V2 fan trays in the chassis before inserting a J2 based line card. For the 8 and 16 slot systems, they have been around for a while, since version 7.0, 7.02. But the support of the 4-slot chassis V2 components is more recent, with the version 7.2.2. Second, it's important that we provide some clarification on the concepts of native and compatibility modes. Sometimes I will say compatible or even comp because I'm a bit lazy, but that's exactly the same thing. The NCS 5500 has been introduced in 2017 and very quickly it became a huge commercial success. It was actually the fastest growing platform in the history of my service provider business unit. During the first four years, thousands of chassis have been deployed with Jericho and Jericho Plus line cards. Now that we introduced Jericho 2 cards, we need to think about the greenfield deployments, but also about the vast number of existing customers that what we call the installed base. And that's the purpose of the compatibility mode in a modular chassis, guaranteeing the interoperability and coexistence of the new Jericho 2 line cards with the existing J and J Plus boards inside the same router. With such an operation mode, the J2 cards will offer bandwidth, packets per second capability and port density, but they will be limited to the features and scales supported on Jericho Plus. That means same protocols and functions and same databases size. To put it differently, the main benefit of using such a mode will be to offer high bandwidth with new cards while keeping your existing line cards in service in the router. And by high bandwidth, I mean up to 9.6 terabit per second with the 24 GD LAN cards, the one offering 24 ports, 400 gigabit Ethernet. And another use case, for example, will be with the 18 GD SC LAN card, giving us 60 port 100 gig per slot and compatible with SR4 LR4 optics on the other side. Basically, the main idea behind the compatibility mode is investment protection. As simple as that. The second operation mode is called native. It can be enabled when your router is exclusively populated with Jericho 2 chipsets. With this mode, it's now possible to go beyond what Jericho Plus offered, both in terms of scale and features. I like to say we unleash the NPU capabilities. That's also why we are introducing this month a line card that looks exactly the same than something that we already have in the portfolio. I mean, the NC5736HSC. In appearance, it does offer 36 port 100 gig with external TCAM, something very close to the NC5536 by 100 ASC that we have in the portfolio for a couple of years. Yeah, it looks the same, right? Well, first, the new card will use QSF PDD cages, allowing longer reach on the third of the ports. They will support 100 gig ZR optics. Second, it's a line card powered by a single Jericho 2 instead of four Jericho Plus NPUs. That means lower power consumption, and since it's J2, it permits the activation of the native mode. So we have more scale, more feature, and better power usage. Before the release of this card, we were forced to use the J Plus version and constrained to activate the compatibility mode. Okay, let's go a bit deeper. In a fixed system powered by Jericho 2 chipsets, the default mode is native. We don't need to configure anything. Actually, we don't even plan to support the compatibility mode on these models. They are solely made of J2 ASIC, so that's easy. Today, in March 2021, and with XR731, the only two fixed systems with J2 are the NCS 57B1 6D, 24 NSC, and we have much more coming in 741 and 751. In a modular chassis, the default mode is compatibility. It will be the case when the system starts and detects a mix of J, J+, and J2 cards, but also if the system is fully populated exclusively with Jericho 2 cards. 
it will boot by default in compatibility mode. Indeed, it's possible that someone later on would want to insert a J plus card, for example. So we support the mix of all existing LAN cards, Jericho, Jericho Plus, Jericho 2, with or without external TCAM. That's what the comp mode is made for. The native mode enablement requires a specific hardware module configuration and a reload to become effective. It will be activated during the boot-up sequence. With higher level of flexibility comes also additional complexity. Let me explain. We have now three different types of ASICs in the line cards with or without external TCAM. And finally, we have two different modes of operation, compatibility and native. Of course, if you mix and match all combinations, you will need to align the overall capability of the systems to the lowest common denominator. Now, let's talk about the feature support. It will be important to pay attention to these details, at least during the next couple of releases. Not all features are supported day one on Jericho 2 LAN cards and in all operation modes. It's a phased approach that started with XR702, where the first J2 LAN cards were introduced, and with compatibility mode only. To meet the most recent customers' requirements and also the most frequent use cases, we started with core and peering features. And as a reference point, we selected the J plus capabilities in 651. That means routing for IPv4, IPv6, MPLS, LDP, RSVPT, L3 VPN, and IP multicast. iOS XR 7.1 was not a vehicle for J2. It works fine for J and J plus, but not J2. So let's forget it for this discussion. In 7.2.1, we introduced the native mode and added some baseline layer two features. iOS XR 7.3.1 continues in the same vein with much more in the L2 category, including quite a lot of eVPN features with an XR 6.6.1 reference point. Also, 7.3.1 is the first release for the fixed systems powered by Jericho 2. And as we explained, by default, they are enabling native mode. And it's not the purpose here to discuss roadmap items, but we can say that we continue closing the gaps with 7.4 and 7.5 versions. It's also in these releases that we'll see more and more features specifically leveraging the native mode, like the MDB profiles, L3 Max SC and L2 Max. They will permit the specialization of the routers in some specific roles, but we'll have time to come back on this improvement in the future. Okay, some key takeaways from this presentation before we wrap it up. Chassis with a mix of different generation of line cards need to use the compatibility mode. When you have only Jericho 2 line cards, you can enable the native mode and activate specific features. That requires a reload. The fixed system powered by Jericho 2 on their side are running the native mode by default. Depending on the software released and the operation mode, we won't support all features day one. So my best advice will be to contact and discuss with your account teams about the services that you need to activate and make sure there is no gaps. In the next videos, coming very soon, we'll make a refresh on the memory utilization and we'll present all the new features and products introduced in iOS XR 7.3.1. See you in the next one. And in the meantime, prenez bien soin de vous.